Right here, I'm measuring where to put my bushings on. Picked them up at Amazon for 28, 28, four of them. They're an inch in diameter. I was making sure my drill's straight up and down there. Using my center punch to make sure my drill goes straight. These are called calipers. They are designed to measure small things. Yes. So the lag screw I ground a little bit on each side and then I drill a hole through it for the pins that are going to go through there. So you can either grind them like that or you can take them to your machine shop and mill each side. So the bearing just slides down on top of it and then it slides back holding it in place. This makes it super easy for me to take the axles off and carry them when I need to. Just doing a little bit more fine grinding to get the bearings to, to come on and off. Apparently when you grind on bolts for a little while, they get hot. These are the little hitch pins I bought at my local hardware store. They're pretty cheap. That is a three quarter inch gas pipe that I found underneath my house. The other one is a black one that I bought at the hardware store. They measure one inch 061. I had to turn them down to 0.990 so the bearings would slide over them. The bearings measure one inch on their ID. I drum tap these for 1032 set screws. And I just made some little marks but I want to put divots in there so it won't spin. And I want to use Loctite because the tracks can cause it to vibrate and have the set screws back out. This is the blue Loctite, so that means it's removable. Red Loctite is permanent. These are the bearings, and they have two set screws on them. You see I turned back that axle about nine inches on each side down to 990 like I said earlier just so it fit through that one inch bearing. Right now I'm marking out a little spot where that pulley is a little close to the front so I'm going to have to cut out a notch. These wheels came a little bit too big so I had to bore out the wheels and make a bushing so that the ID would be 990 and the OD would be whatever. I think I made it 1.450. And to keep the wheels from spinning on the axle, I drilled and tapped a quarter 20 and put a little point on the end of it and a little divot in the bar. So I don't want the wheel spinning on the axle and I don't want the bearing spinning on the axle. It's all connected. I'm either tapping the wheel here or probably just chasing the thread so my bolt goes in easier. Right here I'm just putting the wheels up, putting everything up so I can get off the ground. 
I'm gonna put my tie downs in to hold everything together. So these are the eye bolts that I put in. Just two on each runner. And that's plenty to hold this whole card together. I later cut that tie down so the strap wasn't so long. I didn't want to drag it around. That was a bunch of cord that was holding everything together until I put the tie downs on. 